With such poor visibility in the bay today, the team is back in the air. It's the only way to spot sharks until the water clears. Just gonna frame up and get a little bit more detail here. They had gone from cruising offshore to suddenly hugging those rocks, patrolling those rocks, investigating every nook and cranny of the environment that they know so well here. Now, the tide is rising, allowing the sharks to cruise even closer to the rocks. The seals' hiding places are no longer safe. Today, it's Advantage Shark. OK, there, you can see another one just there. I'll brighten up the screen a bit. Yeah, he's pretty shallow. He looks like he's turning. Yeah, he's doing a bit of a U-turn there. Let's see if I can find some seals if they're in the shallows here, too. There's a seal on his own. Oh, right in go. front of him. Yes, yes, oh. yes! Oh. oh, my goodness. He's got it. He's got it. Oh. For the Cape Fur Seal, there's a fine line between life and death. At least this is a very quick way to go. Shame, that seal did absolutely everything wrong. So the shark and the seal basically swam into each other's path, face to face. And as the shark saw the seal, it was the fastest recognition of prey that I've ever seen. Literally a split second, and he was on that seal. It didn't stand a chance. The seal was actually coming up to take a breath, unawares to the fact that a white shark was onto it. Incredible to see, but obviously, in nature, whenever you see an animal killed, you can't help but have sympathy on the animal's part. They have so much power in their jaws, so it was a thrashing, shaking, while the seal probably didn't feel a thing. It was over very quickly for it. 